Good morning, guys. Another video. Another video this morning. I'll be responding to a, a guy, you know, a fictive name. It's called Brian. Brian from BC, right? He asked me a question, you know, about you know, the bodybuilding, right? Okay, Brian is not his real name, but he will recognize himself, you know, in my video. Because my video is about to respond to his question, you know, his question about the things he. Yeah, he did ask me, right? The thing he asked me, a couple of questions there. Because Brian wants to be a bodybuilder, right? Okay, 17 years old, okay? And he wants to be a bodybuilder. And Brian, you know, uh, about the question, you know, I read, you know, on my emails, on, on my, you know, in the emails, you know, uh, the emails you sent to me, right? I try to respond to you as much as I can, you know, with uh, the best of my ability and my experience, you know, about, you know, bodybuilding, you know. First of all, you know, Brian, if you if you want to compete, you know, in a bodybuilding uh, contest, you know, it's up to you, it's pretty good, but you must understand something, you know, that you're 17 years old, you know, and uh, a couple of years from now, so you'll be a junior, and right now, so you'll be, a, like we call it, a juvenile, right? Okay, division, right? Okay, and then if you go there, you know, uh, you're five foot nine, I guess. Uh, yeah, five foot nine, 175 pounds, you know, which is not bad, you know, for a 17 years old boy, right? I didn't see you, I didn't see your frame and everything, you know, but it's not bad, it's not bad, you know. You still have to, a lot to achieve there, you know. And today, when we talk about bodybuilding contests, you know, the emphasis, the emphasis, you know, what they really look at, you know, is about the size, the size, the symmetry. The size, the symmetry, and the proportion, you know, the proportion and the way you're flexing, you know, on your routine, you know, the routine on the stage. They look at all the judges, they be looking at you, you know, about the, the, the different aspect, different, the different uh, uh, points there, and you have to show your, you have to, to, to sell your, your, your physique, you know, that to show your body, right, okay, and to be ready, you have to be extremely, you know, uh, uh, ready, you know, to, to, to do your your routine, you know, properly, you know, and you know, uh, with uh, how you say that, you know, uh, fluently, fluently, I should say, fluently, right? Okay, fluently, and it takes you know hours and hours of practice, you know, and choose the right music for you. Okay, okay, uh, you want to be, uh, you talk to me, you know, too about you know running, you know, an anabolic steroid cycle. You'd be disappointed, you know. You'd be disappointed, you know, because me, you know, personally, I'm against, you know, as an athlete, I'm really against, you know, anabolic steroids, you know. I have never took it, taken it, you know, and I will never take it, you know. I will, I will never take it, in, you know, for the rest of my life. And I'm 45 years old, okay. But interesting question, you know, interesting question. And I like, you know, your honesty, honesty. How to run a cycle? First of all, you know, of course, if you go, if you, if in, if. In your mind, you know, goal is to 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 compete as a as as a as a as an amateur bodybuilder. You know, you I guess you realize one thing. You know, with all the videos we've seen, you know, and uh, I don't know if you uh, if you went to see a, a, a bodybuilding contest, you know, in person, you know, in a crowd as a spectator, right? Okay. The, all the guys you know they are using shit right now. For me, you must understand my point of view. You know, anabolic steroids, you know, and growth hormones. You know, they are all fake, all artificial, and all shit for me. All, all shit for me. Okay, that's right. All shit for me. But it's possible for you to get there. But if you go there naturally, and your goal is not about to be natural there, you know, uh, you have to be uh, well geared, well geared. You know. Because the guy, what they're doing there, you know, uh, even, you know, juvenile or junior, they own stuff, you know, they own stuff and big stuff, you know, uh, testosterone, you know, and tremble on and stuff like that. It's crazy. It's really crazy. You have to be aware about it, really aware about it, right, okay? And it's me, you asked you ask me the question too, okay? I will try to respond to you why I don't compete in bodybuilding and MO, you know? And I did only one, you know, competition in my life when I was a junior, 20 years old, you know, in Montreal. 25 years ago because you have seen my videos and I talk to you I talk about it you know the people okay because they are all fake you know and even at my size today and today in my experiences you know I just couldn't win there you know uh, as a competitor you know I could just even be in the third you know uh, in, the, in the first uh, third uh, third winner 
the third winners, you know, because uh, I would be too small. I would be too small. I would be too small, you know, and I would be competing, you know, against machine, against machine. Or oh, what the guys do, okay, is they're using, you know, anabolic steroids and all the year around. And just before like, the contest, right, before the contest, a couple of months ago, a couple of weeks ago, they stop are they using, you know, other product, you know, to hide it, right, okay, and the federation, you know, they can't afford, you know, amateur, you know, to, to test all the guys, you know, one by one, one by one. So, uh, at the end, so, you always a loser, you lose, you lose, you know, you're not sure, you're not gonna win, you know, because the guys are too strong, you know, and today with the stuff that you have in the market, you know, it's so powerful, it's so powerful, and we don't talk about, you know, I will include, you know, uh, GH, you know, even the insulin they are using before training, you know, uh, okay, uh, it's, it's really crazy, it's really crazy. Today, in 2016, so that's where we are, that's where we are, and that's the way it works, okay, and that's the way the guys are working, you know, it's really crazy, it's really crazy. So you better think twice about, you know, think about, you know, learning, you know, Anabolic uh, steroid cycle, you know, and uh, most part of the guy, you know, that I've known from my experience, you know, they got hooked, they got hooked, you know, about it. So, so I mean, so just right after, you know, cycle of cycle, they wanted to continue, 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 and they just couldn't even left, you know, naturally, naturally, because they uh, on that shit, you know, the guy, they, they were, they are stronger, okay. Uh, more powerful, you know, uh, bigger and everything. It's like, you know, they were, uh, the guys I know, they were inflated, you know, inflating, you know, like uh, you do inflate, you know, a tire, you know, I did that, they, they got rash, right? They get rash, right? But your goal is to, to go on it, you know, it's your choice, you know, and I, I will respect it, you know, but me, I'm against that, I'm against that. Because I don't believe that you need that, that, that scrap, you know, to build a physique, a physique, you know. And you ask me a little question, you know, that it comes to my mind clearly, right, okay? Uh, all I did, you know, to build a physique, you know. Uh, first of all, you must understand one thing. The very first years of my training, my first five years, was absolutely awful, awful. Because I didn't have a coach, right? A personal trainer. I didn't have anybody, you know, to, superv to, to supervise me, right? And to correct me and to teach me, you know, the proper form, the proper technique, you know. Uh, of training with the good exercises, you know, I love a combo and a tempo and everything, you know, uh, the exercise combination, you know, uh, even, you know, we know that you have to start, you know, with the largest muscles group, right, okay, and then finishing up, you know, with, you know, the smallest, you know, muscle group, you know, and I have no knowledge about it, you know, it was very helpful. So for me, you know, I guess it's not a good reference for me, but I know by experience as long, you know, with all the things I know and the stuff and everything, you know, that, you know, if I would have gotten, you know, if I would have taken, you know, a personal trainer and somebody, you know, with, you know, the ability and the, uh, the, the efficiency to, to, to follow me, right? Okay, to follow me, okay? Uh, today and even at that time you know uh, you know um, my uh, result would have been much better much better much better and that's that's exactly what I have to tell you about it uh, uh, Brian you know Brian uh, steroid.com they tell you uh, it uh, tells you a lot of good information you know if you think about running you know uh, anabolic steroid cycle but I don't recommend it I don't recommend it because you don't eat naturally but if you, your goal is to compete you know as a bodybuilder and as an amateur bodybuilder you know I guess you you know and you're aware that all the guys they are using shit they are using shit okay right okay and you talk to me to you know about you know the Kevin Le Levron when you come back you know to comment about it I will comment about Kevin Levron you know the guy who's 51 years old He's a pro IFBB and he'd be competing for Mr. Olympia 2016. What I think about it, you know, all those guys, all these guys today, you know, it's really ridiculous. It's a real joke, you know, it's awful, right? Okay. And that I have seen pictures you know, and a video about Kevin Leroni. So when he started, when he restarted training, you know, and where he is right now, you know, and we all know it's all about shit. It's all about shit. You know, it's full of shit, you know anabolic steroids and growth and GH and everything and if he places himself in, a, in the, the 10 you know among the the the, the, the 10 first competitor the competitors you know he'd be very happy because it's too small it's just too small you know to be there in 2016 uh, Mr. Olympia and another question he asked me you know what I think about Mr. Olympia you know because I guess you didn't see all the videos I did before I did before right okay 
because uh, I really think I really talk about it. Go see my videos. I'm gonna I'm gonna tell you. You know you're gonna see, and you have all the response needed. You know about what I think about today professional bodybuilders and all, which yeah, I'm gonna tell you just a clue, right? Okay, it's really hardly, it's really awful, you know, and you know. I, as I said, maybe I'm not the right guy for you, you know, but I'm against, you know, the principle, you know, to use, you know, drugs to get bigger and to get better, right? To get bigger and to get better. You don't need that scrap. You don't need that scrap, you know. You don't need that scrap. That's what I have to tell you, uh, Brian, about it. So, uh, good luck. Uh, take care. And if you have a question to ask me, don't be, don't be uh, afraid to, to, to ask me. And I'm going to uh, respond to you, you know, very honestly and tell you, you know, uh, my throat, you know, my throat, you know, so humbly about what I think about it, you know, with the experiences I have, you know, and the experience that I have, you know, as a personal trainer, too, you know, I have seen many guys, many, 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 many guys, you know, uh, destroying, you know, their life, going depressed, you know, breaking their joints and everything, and even, you know, you know, they left the training, they left training, you know, and all these guys, they were using and abusing anabolic steroids, you know. Go see a guy like uh, Darian Yates. Go see Ronnie Coleman today. Okay, the guys are in the early, early 50s, okay? And uh, uh, where they are now and how they look now. And I guess it's gonna give you a clue, a clue, right, okay? Or just briefly a big idea, you know, big idea what uh, anabolic steroids, you know, and GH and all the drugs do. Uh, in your system, you know, when you're training and when they stop training, you know, and when they stop training and, uh, and when they stop, you know, using that shit, you know, because it's really, you know, an artificial war, uh, okay, and uh, it's far from being an LT way of life, healthy way of living, healthy way of training, buddy, okay, take care, see you soon.